Hi, let us see how to subtract two fractions when we have different denominators. In our first fraction 3 upon 4 we have denominator 4 and in second fraction we have denominator 3. So the first step will be to have a common denominator. To find a common denominator we will find out LCM that is least common multiple of both the denominators 4 and 3. LCM is the smallest or least positive integer that is divisible by both the integers, right? So first, we will write a few multiples of 4, which are 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on, right? And our next step will be to write multiples of 3, that is going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. And from these two set of multiples, multiples of 4 and multiples of 3, we need to find the common integer in both the multiples. In multiples of 4, 12 and in multiples of 3, here we have 12. So this 12 and 12 is common in both the multiples. So LCM of 4 and 3 will be 12, right? So now we need to make both the denominators 12. Like for fraction 3 upon 4, we need to write this fraction in such a way that at the denominator's place we will have 12. Same for 1 upon 3, 1 upon 3 we have to write in such a way that at the denominator's place we will have 12. Okay, let us see how to do that. First I will write LCM of 4 and 3 is 12, right? Now I need to write fraction 3 upon 4 in such a way that at the denominator's place I will have 12. So 3 upon 4, I will multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. And this way we have 4 multiplied by 3, that is 12 at the denominator's place. And for the numerator's place, we have 3 multiplied by 3, that is 9, right? Same we need to perform for 1 upon 3. So 1 upon 3, we need to multiply this by 4 upon 4. So that at the denominator's place we have 3 multiplied by 4 that is 12 and at the numerator's place we have 1 multiplied by 4 that is 4. Okay. Now 3 upon 4 can be written as 9 upon 12. Okay. And 1 upon 3 can be written as 4 upon 12. Now this subtraction becomes very simple. So at the place of 3 upon 4 I will write 9 upon 12. Then we have a minus sign and for 1 upon 3, I will write 4 upon 12. Here we have a common denominator 12 in both the fractions. Okay. So in order to subtract these two fractions, because we have common denominator, I will write 12 at the denominator's place. And for the numerator, I will subtract both the numerators. That is 9 minus 4. This is 9 minus 4 is 5 upon 12 so this is the answer we need to simplify it but this fraction is already in the simplified version because our numerator is smaller than the denominator so this is a proper fraction so this is the answer 3 upon 4 minus 1 upon 3 is 5 upon 12 right so this is how we have subtracted two fractions using lcm there is one more way to subtract fractions and that is applicable when we have two fractions. Like in this case, we have 3 upon 4 and 1 upon 3. We have two fractions. So we can follow this method. I am going to explain. So at the denominator's place, we are going to multiply both the denominators. That is 12. And for the numerator's place, I am going to multiply first fraction's numerator with second fraction's denominator. This way. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. Then we are going to have this minus symbol. And then we are going to multiply second fraction's numerator with first fraction's denominator. That is 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. Okay. And in this case, 9 minus 4 is 5. And at the denominator's place, we have 12. So result of this subtraction is 5 upon 12. We got the same result. So in first method, we followed LCM and in the second method, we followed this process, right? 
Let us take one more example. Let us subtract 2 upon 7 minus 1 upon 5. So let us follow second method. For second method, we are going to multiply both the denominators first and 7 multiply by 5 is 35 and we are going to write it at the denominator's place. And for the numerator's place, I am going to multiply first fraction's numerator with second fraction's denominator. 2 multiply by 5 is 10. And then we have this minus sign. And after that, we need to multiply second fraction's numerator with first fraction's denominator. That is 1 multiply by 7 is 7. So, result of this subtraction will be 10 minus 7 is 3. And at the denominator's place, we have 35. And if possible, we can further reduce this fraction. We can simplify this fraction. But this fraction is already in a simplified form. So we cannot simplify it further. 3 upon 35 is the answer. Okay. So hope you understood this fraction concept. And uh, I will bring more fraction examples, more fraction concepts in my next coming videos. Thanks for watching.